Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. Today I am cleaning out the pantry and freezer a little bit. Um, with the economy, it's always good to um, use the resources that you have in your pantry and freezer. I try to be really good about buying meat when it's on sale so we stock up and fill our freezer but sometimes I get caught up in grocery shopping every week and don't utilize it the stuff that I have on hand as much as I should so I decided to go through my freezer and my pantry and look at the things that I haven't been using on a regular basis and I'd like to make a meal plan for the next you know one to two weeks and just really focus on using up some stuff in my pantry we have Thatcher here today. He's gonna to be my little buddy. We're gonna work on some stuff together. So I went through my freezer and I usually have salmon on hand. I haven't been eating that very often. So I, there are five or seven pieces of salmon in here. Um, I think I'm gonna to try to have it once or twice a week, but I have salmon that I'd like to utilize. Um, we also have sardines and tuna. So sardines and tuna are really nutrient dense. Um, and I, you know, I could make an easy tuna salad um, with my homemade mayonnaise and it would be really good sardines. I've actually learned to like them a little bit. So um, I'm gonna try to eat those at least on a weekly basis. Also have tons of ground beef. So I'm gonna add some hamburgers into the rotation. We do hamburgers almost every week, but we've been um, not, we haven't been using hamburgers a lot recently. Um, so I also have a ton of Rouse marinara sauce. This is the, my favorite marinara sauce. I could brown up some ground beef really easily and put this on top and just eat it like that. I'm dairy free right now. You wanna eat it? Okay, we can eat it later. Um, I could eat it without cheese, no problem. Cheese is always better. I enjoy cheese more, but, but um, I can make a really simple meal with that. But I could also grab a spaghetti squash the next time I go to the store and make my spaghetti, my spaghetti squash casserole. Um, and that's also delicious. Mommy, mama, I go. You want to go to the store? Yeah. Not today. Please go. Maybe another day? Yeah. Okay. I have a ton of bone broth that I have made in um, the recent months and it's in my freezer. Um, so I'm going to thaw a quart of that. It's, it's going to be about three cups of it. Um, and I'm going to cook it in my instant pot with these chicken leg quarters. I'm going to cook these on high pressure at like for like three or four hours until the meat is just falling off the bones and those bones are getting boiled to make even more nutrient dense bone broth. Um, and I'm gonna eat this probably just like a soup with broth and chicken. It's gonna be really good. And last but not least, I have these corned beef briskets. I got these on sale for St. Patty's Day. I got two out. These are gonna thaw in my fridge for a day or two until they're completely thawed. And then I'm gonna put them in the Instant Pot for about four hours on high pressure and the meat is just gonna fall apart. We don't usually have leftovers of the corned beef because it's so good, but these roasts are actually pretty small this year. Um, so I'm gonna do two so that I have leftovers that I can just eat on at any time. I'm just gonna put a plan together for the next couple of weeks with these staples. And uh, you know, this is all food that I've spent money on, so it's good to utilize that. Uh, but we are just kind of lessening the impact on the grocery budget for this week and maybe next week too. Um, so if you guys are trying to save money this week, check out your freezer. See what you've got in there that you might have stocked up on and um, try to plan around that.
I hope this video was helpful for you as I went through my freezer and my pantry and did my meal planning. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Um, if you would do this kind of meal planning, let me know in the comments what the most often found um, food in your freezer and pantry are. I'd love to know. This is definitely going to simplify my meal planning for the next two weeks. And my family will eat some of these meals, but, you know, like they are not going to do the sardines. And my husband doesn't care for salmon either. So, but I'm just going to take these and I'm going to just not have to think about the meals that I'm going to eat this week. And um, I'm going to enjoy that. So let me know if you try this type of meal planning and what your favorite go-to recipes are when you're trying to clean out your freezer. Like subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when I get a, a new video up and as always I hope wherever you are today you're having a great day and I'll see you soon friends bye -bye. say bye-bye say have a good day, good day.